In the following presentation, we will discuss the molecular mechanism behind Parkinson's and how a tyrosine kinase inhibitor called nilotinib can disrupt this mechanism. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder that is caused by the death of dopaminergic neurons in the brain due to accumulations of protein plaques. Dopaminergic neurons are a subset of neurons that are comparatively few in number but play important roles in movement, mood, and cognition. The most observable symptoms of Parkinsonism are muscle stiffness, resting tremor, and stooped posture. These are largely caused by the death of neurons in a region of the brain called the substantia nigra, which plays an integral role in reinforcing and fine-tuning motor plans. Other symptoms include sleep, emotional, and sensory disturbances. Previous treatments focus mainly on symptom management. One such treatment, carbidoba levodopa, was used widely but became less effective over time and had many side effects. Another treatment, deep brain stimulation, only controlled tremors and was a very invasive procedure. A more permanent and effective treatment is needed. A drug by Novartis just may be the cure that everyone's been looking for. However, First, we must discuss the biochemistry of Parkinson's before showing how nilotinib is able to cure it. C. Abel is a tyrosine kinase involved in a cellular death mechanism called apoptosis. Studies have shown that C. Abel activates P73, a critical tumor suppressor gene that is related to the famous gene P53 dubbed the guardian of the genome. This gene acts through a signaling cascade to induce apoptosis in cells with potentially harmful DNA damage. The characteristic pathological feature of Parkinson's disease is the accumulation of alpha-synuclein plaques in structures called Lewy bodies. Alpha-synuclein is a polypeptide commonly found in nervous tissue, where it interacts with phospholipids and proteins. Its function isn't entirely understood, but it is known to have a critical role in disease pathogenesis in Parkinson's. Recent findings show that injection of alpha-synuclein led to increased C-ABL levels. Interestingly enough, injection of C-ABL also led to increased alpha-synuclein levels. These findings hint at a positive feedback loop between C. Abel and alpha-synuclein. A hypothesis behind this positive feedback loop is that alpha-synuclein activates C. Abel and causes a reduction of autophagy within the cell. Alpha-synuclein is cleared out via autophagy, so this in inhibition leads to increased levels of alpha-synuclein. Nilotinib is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier. We can see from this chart that fewer C. Abels are phosphorylated, and therefore fewer are active when nilotinib is applied to a Parkinson's disease mouse model. Results have shown that administration of nilotinib is also correlated with decreased levels of alpha-synuclein, which is consistent with the positive feedback loop hypothesis. Nilotinib inhibits ABL tyrosine kinase by binding to the kinase domain in the pocket where ATP normally binds on C. ABL. More specifically, it forms hydrogen bond interactions with threonine 315, glutamate 286, and aspartate 381 on the ABL protein. This inhibition disrupts a positive feedback loop between ABL and alpha-synuclein. In conclusion, administration of nilotinib inhibits the activity of ABL and clears away alpha-synuclein. This ultimately lowers the propensity of the cell for apoptosis, which decreases neural degradation and improves motor function, alleviating the symptoms of Parkinson's. Clinical trials are currently underway. The future objective of these trials is to validate these correlated findings with causation, further tests on human models, and improve nilotinib's efficacy.